So recently Modern Warfare has been introducing and teasing a lot of new changes in the Warzone, so naturally it's got us all talking. But are the changes what keeps us playing and do we like the changes that they've made so far? Of course changes, uh, something like Warzone is going to bring you back because it's basically the same game all the time. It's not going to change radically in the same way that multiplayer, well Warzone's multiplayer adds playlists and maps. It's one map, you eventually are going to have seen most of it. And you know, any kind of multiplayer game, uh, especially Battle Royale stuff, you kind of tail off, you start doing other things and uh, suddenly they go, holy shit, this has happened and everyone comes running to see what it is. You know, you join, you join in because you want to know what's happened, you join in because you want to sort of experience it with your friends so big changes like that are kind of vital to you know keeping people interested keeping people engaged honestly warzone could make as many changes as it damn well feels like and i'd probably keep playing that's because it's an excellent battle royale even though i was a little bit slow on the uptick to adopt warzone as a battle royale that's just because i didn't want to give up apex i think that it's a great version of that game type and um, I think it's just going to keep getting better. Even though Warzone is inherently chaotic and wild and full of tension, um, it is going to eventually get stale if we don't change up the map. Do I think changing up the map this quickly is necessary? I mean, no, but would it be cool? Sure. Is that what's going to happen? I don't know. We're going to find out. So I think Warzone can change it up, flip the switch, flip the script, whatever you want to call it, and I'll still be playing it, still be getting angry at it. Even though I just finally figured out which areas in the map I like and don't like, I guess I'd have to learn it again. And I'm all for the idea that there might be some more meta narrative folded into the gameplay itself. I mean, I live for a battle royale that has some lore in it. Honey, feed me, I'm starving. Just give me anything, honestly, I'm not even picky. I don't care. Whatever you want, Warzone, I'm here. For me, I'm going to be playing the game no matter what happens uh, with Warzone changing in the near future or even the far future. Uh, there's something about the inherent tension of the Battle Royale formula mixed with this COD's ferocious gunplay that's really appealing to me. Um, I think this COD has been a really strong entry in the series and I'm a big fan of Battle Royales in general, especially the sort of uh, kind which Warzone is going for, where there's a lot of tension as you're always sort of gearing up to face another team or another player. And I think because that foundation is so strong, uh, I can see myself constantly returning to Warzone no matter what happens uh, with it. So this is a weird one for me because I feel like normally when I'm in these videos I am just singing the praises of whatever thing we're talking about that week. But I have not been a huge fan of the changes they've made to the Warzone so far, particularly the, the weird changes that they keep making to the game modes. So I've noticed that, I know not many people are a fan of Plunder, but I really like Plunder, and they have changed how many people can be on a team quite a few times and also quite sporadically sometimes you'll be able to play uh, as a duo and then that lasts for like three days and they change it to a trio and it's just hard to keep track especially if you have a dedicated group of friends that you like to always play with it's gonna be really awkward if you log on one day as a four and then you're like well one of you's gonna have to go so I did really like the addition of the most wanted contracts I thought that was a really cool little addition and I had a lot of fun with it for the very very limited time it was there but again that just disappeared and uh, I'm not entirely sure why so I think there's a different question as to whether you like changes or whether you like additions I'm all for new things being added not a huge fan of them changing things that I think were working already but let's be honest I'm the same as every other Warzone player you're gonna keep changing stuff and I'm gonna keep playing I'm gonna moan about it but I'm going to keep playing because I want to get those dubs. I can't believe I just called it a dub on video. I hate myself. 